Hello, um, welcome to my tutorial on creating dovetail joints um, with the tails first. Alright, so let's create ourselves some stock to work with. Um, let's create a board here, say add a three quarters inch stock and uh, ah, six. Let's go, actually three quarters by six inches. And then we'll push pull it out to eight inches. Um, I'm going to paint this thing actually just so that we can uh, distinguish the two boards and then as long as I have it selected I'm going to call that the tail board. That's our tails. Now let's create another piece of stock and this is six by three six by three quarters as well and we will push that out to eight inches as well good get rid of the colors now we have this area of overlap here and that's of course where our dovetail joint is going to take place oh, let's actually make this the pins good so let's open up our tail board and um, I'm gonna hide the rest of the model now that I kind of know where I am in space. I'm going to select all that. I'm going to intersect faces with the model and that's how we get our scribe line that we would normally do with a marking gauge. Um, from here I'm going to lay out some half pins. I'm going to use the tape measure tool and let's say 3 8 from the end I like to do half the stock thickness, so three eighths. And now we're going to need some angle guides. Uh, now that we've added one guide point, and two guide points, we want some angle guide lines. So we're going to be using our protractor tool. This is not the rotate tool. This is the protractor tool. It creates guide points. So I'm going to click on the guide point. I'm going to move down parallel to the axis, right to the edge, you'll notice it's blue, meaning that it aligned to the axis. Click, then I'm going to tilt it inward and I'm going to type the angle I like, and I'm going to go with 14 degrees. Uh, then I'm going to go back to my tape measure and figure out the width of my tail. Let's just call it an inch. Back to my protractor. Do the same thing as before, except this one of course angles in, again 14 degrees. And now I'm going to create a line along each of those. And at this point we've actually created all the guides we need in the entire uh, process. So I just create one scribe of the tail. From this I can double click on that and that's going to highlight the entire uh, trapezoid that defines the tail. And I'm going to move this uh, with a copy. So M for move. And I'm going to drag this end point over to this guide point. And as I do that, I'm going to tap the control key. So I'm actually doing a copy. And make sure you're on the guide point. At this point, we get to decide how many. Uh, tails we like to have. We had one, we just copied a, a, a one more so we have two. But we can use the division key, that is the slash key, to divide that space into even more. So we just made one, but if I do slash two, I have all I've made two additional instead of one additional. Slash three, slash four, and you can see we can choose our spacing pretty well. Uh, just by changing that division. So I think I like this because I like the Empire dovetails. And let's um, let's get rid of the guides. I don't like looking at guides. They tend to clutter up the screen. And I'm going to hit P for push pull. I'm just going to push pull that right on through there. Double click, double click. We're getting rid of the pins because we're doing the tails. And there we have all the all our dovetails done. 
uh, the tails that is. So now let's select all of those tails and all that shoulder area. And I'm going to um, copy that. And I'm just going to leave that on my clipboard. I'm going to come over here to the tail board. And now I'm going to paste, but I'm going to paste in place. So now those tails are embedded in there. That's what we want. Um, we would like to be able to see how they're embedded in there. So I'm going to switch on X-Ray, and I use the X key as my shortcut for X-Ray, and you can assign that uh, in the Shortcuts tab under the Preferences window. So hit X, and I can see inside that. And I can see I have my pins, they're still there, but the other dovetails are actually embedded in there. What I want to do is I want to open up that area by deleting this line and this line. That'll open up that area here and here, here and here, and so on. So let's get uh, rid of the x-ray, pull up the eraser tool, hit E or click on that button, just get rid of that one, and 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 there I am. I have all my pins. Now go back to the select tool for just a moment, move down onto one of the, the very white faces, because those are all oriented with the outside of those faces point outward. Because we play games here, we're actually looking at the inside faces of those uh, tails. So I'm going to right cl click on one of the big white faces and you can say orient faces. That goes through this component and makes everything oriented the same way as the face I just clicked on. All right. Um, oh, and of course, these are still gray just so that we can see everything well. Let's paint everything white. And that's going to give us good contrast right here. So there you go. You have a tails first dovetail joint in SketchUp. Thanks.